Today we are changing radio station KRAZY as part of our Inner Critic series. Hello and welcome to episode 279 of Namaste Yoga. I'm Dr. Melissa West and welcome to Spring in Beacon Hill Park. You will hear lots of noise from our friends, the peacocks and the herons who are, uh, <laughs> you know, it's spring so you can draw your own conclusions. And also we, all, we already had a friend, Mr. Squirrel here who was looking for some food. <laughs> he was using my yoga mat already. So lots of animal friends today. And we're doing the Inner Critic series. So the Inner Critic series, we're on class number four. If you are just joining us for the first time today, then you need to back up and start with the first class of the Inner Critic series on befriending your inner critic and go through the classes sequentially and then do all of them before you land on class number four of the Inner Critic series. So today's class is on choice, but first I want to thank Squeeze for my clothing today. I'm wearing a long sleeved, really beautiful purple jewel toned Ganesh, dancing Ganesh top. And I'm also wearing long black leggings with the Om Mani Padme Om on the bottom. And thank you to Dusky Leaf for my props. Today I'm using a mat and you will need, you may need a strap and you may need yoga blocks as well today. So I also have a testimonial too that I received from Julie via email and she says, my heartfelt gratitude goes to you both, to him and myself, for doing such a wonderful job of providing uplifting and thought provoking material for all us passionate yogis. I offer my warm and sincere special acknowledgement and thanks to Tim who behind the scenes I know is doing so much more good. <laughs> I like that because it sounds like he's doing way more than me, which is true. You should see he does a lot more than me that we don't know about. Sometimes he's on that computer and I don't know what he's doing. It's like Oz. <laughs> Last night I was standing behind him and he says, you don't need to know what's happening here. <laughs> but he was backing up. And if that backup isn't happening, it's bad news. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's doing more good for the betterment of all of us who use your work than a lot of us may ever realize. So yes, we have no idea all the stuff that Tim does. It's so rewarding to have such a cooperative and co-creative pair who share such a great common goal. Cheers to you both. Love and namaste, jo Julie. Okay, so go ahead and rest back. You can lie on your back, tuck your shoulders under, and you can also, see Tim's even a stylist. He told me to fix my, <laughs> this, is, this is new to his roster of uh, talents, <laughs> being a stylist. I wanted a stylist, but he said no. He, he would take on that role himself. Okay, so lying on your back, you might want to put a bolster under your knees or bend your knees and place your feet flat on the floor if your low back is tender. You can press into your feet, lengthen out through your pelvis and then lengthen out your legs if your low back is okay. And just settle in. Um, today's class, I told you at the beginning, our, our, the title of our class is Changing Radio Station K-R-A-Z-Y. We all know about radio station KRAZY if you've been doing this series. But today's class is about choice. So whew, for me, that's a relief. Um, for some people, choice is, is a hard thing. I know uh, one of my friends, one of my close friends, 
she struggles with choice. She might rather stay with acceptance and awareness, but me, I get to a choice and it's like a huge relief. I'd rather be in choice than other than acceptance. <laughs> so, you know, we each have our our things in life and so you some of you might be relieved to get to choice. Some of you might be like, Ooh, I gotta make a choice. That sounds difficult. So that's uh, you know, that can be part of the class is just noticing where you are with choice. So today's class is about choice. Last week we brought acceptance to our inner critic and once we bring acceptance to our inner critic, then we can have a choice about how to be with our inner critic. In today's class we will explore our relationship to choice. What motivates me to choose? Where are my choices coming from? What is it like to make a choice about my inner critic? At any moment, how I am being with my inner critic is my choice. My beliefs, my thoughts, my assumptions, my actions are all my choices. It's entirely up to me to choose how to be with my inner critic. So as you rest back, tune into your physical body. And as you tune into your physical body, notice how you choose to be with your body right now. And if your inner critic is showing up in response to you tuning into your physical body, just notice how you choose to be with your inner critic's response to your physical body too. So it's not about overcoming your inner critic or pushing it aside or away. It's about bringing all those tools we had with us along for the ride. So befriending your inner critic, bringing awareness to it, accepting it, and then making a choice about how you're going to be with your inner critic. So shift your attention now and bring your awareness to your breathing. Notice what's happening with your breath. Notice if your inner critic wants to fix or change your breath in any way or has anything to say about your breath. And then notice your choice to be with your breath or your inner critic's response to your breath. And then take a deep breath and let it fall out of your mouth. And bend your knees and place your feet flat on the floor. And then cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. And you're going to draw your left leg into your chest until you feel something happening in the outside of your right thigh and into your right buttocks. So you want to choose something. So this is all about choice. You want to choose something between too much and too little where you feel something happening and you can be with that sensation. And also where it's not too much that you can't tune into the questions that I'm going to be um, asking. So then you're going to take your hands and place them through the thread of the needle here and put them behind your left leg here. You can use your right elbow to open up your right knee. So in yoga, we call this 
edge and you want to choose that just right edge. So notice the edge that you're choosing here. And then you can release your left leg down, uncross your right leg, pause and take a moment to feel the effects of this posture in your body. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let it fall out of your mouth. And then cross your left leg over top of your right thigh and open your left knee out to the side and then you'll draw your left, your right leg in towards your chest. And you're gonna reach your hands through and hold on to the back of your right thigh. And on this side, see if you could choose a different edge and notice how that feels in your body. And then go ahead and release the side down. Take your arms out to your side in a soft T. And you're going to cross your left leg over your right leg. Press into your right foot. Lift your hips and take them over to the right side of your mat. Inhale here. Breathe out and lower your knees down to the left side of your mat. So you're coming into a twist. Look over your right side of your shoulder. And ask yourself, where am I choosing to listen to my inner critic in my life? And then go ahead and take your legs back to the center. Press into your feet. And bring your hips back to the center. Uncross your legs. Take a deep breath in. Let your breath fall out of your mouth. And just feel your spine unraveling there for a moment. And then you'll cross your left leg over your right leg. and take a deep breath in. Press into your feet and lower them over to the, lower your hips over to the left side of the mat, pick them up and bring them over to the left side of the mat and then bring your, I thought I did that leg already. <laughs> You're gonna cross your right leg over your left leg now. I thought I repeated myself. This, so all these kind of cross patterns, the reason why they can be kind of confusing in our body, and we're doing, in our new section on our membership site, 
we're doing a whole a lot of this a lot of neuroplasticity stuff a lot of brain yoga stuff where there are a lot of these crossover patterns and they help to create connections between your left and right hemisphere and so they are confusing to your brain because you have to stop and think about it so that kind of crossover pattern is a, is a good example of that so that's why it's tricky so my right leg is over my left leg now and I pressed into my foot, I lowered my hips over to the left side of my mat and then I'm going to lower my legs over to the right side of my mat and I'm going to look over my left shoulder. So if you find your teachers get confused with those kinds of twists and cross patterns, that's why. It's, it's a lot to cue and teach. And <laughs> so. And now I have to remember the opposite question from which I just asked. So when do you choose not to listen to your inner critic in your life? And then bring your legs back to the center, press into your feet, untuck your hips, uncross your legs, and take a deep breath in. Exhale. Allow your spine to unravel and your brain to say, ah, that was so great. <laughs> and then we are going to draw your right knee into your chest. You can either have your left knee bent, especially if you, if you have low back issues, it'd be a good idea to keep your left knee bent or you can keep your, you can take your left leg long, it's up to you. And you're gonna circle your right leg. And as you circle your right leg, you can ask yourself, how am I choosing to be with my inner critic? And then circle your leg the other way. And then lower your right leg down, slide it out. Feel the difference between your two legs. And then bend your left leg in. And again, you can either have your right leg bent or straight out depending on your low back. Low back problems, keep your right leg bent. Or you can have it straight out and then circle your left leg. And on this side, ask yourself, How am I not making choices when it comes to my inner critic? And then circle your leg the other way. And then slide your leg out and feel the effects of this posture now that you've done it on both sides. Take a deep breath in. Let it fall out of your mouth. And then bend both of your knees, roll to your side. Come up onto all fours. 
And from here, we're going to do thread the needle. So you're going to come on to all fours, spread your fingers wide, inhale, take your left arm up to the side, exhale, take your left arm in that space between your right wrist and your right knee, lower your left shoulder down to the ground and your left side of your head, tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. And on this side, ask yourself, when am I choosing to say yes to my inner critic? Then come back to the center and we'll do the other side. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Take your right hand through the space between your left wrist and your right knee. Lower your right shoulder down. Rest on the right side of your head. Tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. And ask yourself, when do you choose to say no to your inner critic? And then unthread your needle. And then come back onto all fours and slide your right knee forward. So your right knee comes to your right wrist. You reach your left leg back and long. And then fold forward over your bent knee. Now you could come back and lie on your back and do that figure four where we chose our edge again if this bothers your knees at all. And on this side, ask yourself, when do you choose to allow your inner critic to inform your choices? And then come back up onto all fours, slide your right leg back and switch legs. So you'll slide your left leg forward to your left wrist, reach your right leg back and long. And now you'll fold forward over your left leg. And on this side, ask yourself, when do you choose not to allow your inner critic to inform your choices?
And then find a way out of this posture, come back onto all fours and walk your hands back to your knees, stand up on your knees and walk your left leg forward. Lean into Anjaneyasana, lunge pose. Press into your front left foot, come upright and you're going to twist on this side. So two options for that. You can take your right hand to the outside of your left knee, or you can take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and bring your palms together in a twist like that. And on this side, ask yourself, what are you choosing to allow your inner critic to do. And then come back to the center and shift back. And we'll switch sides. So this time you'll walk your right leg through. And lean forward. Sink down through your front right foot. Come upright. And turn towards your right leg. So you can do your twist in two ways. One is to take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. And the, the intention is to do the twist. So either is good, whatever works best in your body today. And then the other option is to bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and bring your palms together. And then the question on this side is, what are you choosing to not allow your inner critic to do. And then release this pose from your body. And you can come to a comfortable seated position. You might want to sit kneeling on your blocks. Or you can sit cross-legged on a meditation cushion. Or you can sit in a chair. Whatever works best for you and your body. I'm going to sit cross-legged on my meditation cushion. Okay, so here I have a mudra for you, and this is a mudra to help you with choice. So it's a simple one. It's the steeple mudra, except for all you're gonna do is just cross your thumbs over, and it's your left thumb crossed over your right thumb, and then you're gonna rest it on your sternum, and that's it. And this mudra will help you make choice. So the reason I chose you is it helps to increase mental clarity, so I find often, when it comes to making choice, it seems like there's not a lot of mental clarity. For people that have trouble making decisions, it's like there can be, like when I talk about my girlfriend that had trouble making decisions, she could stand in front of chocolate bars and have a different cult decision, making a decision about what kind of chocolate bar to choose, right? So choice in general can be difficult for some people. And so mental clarity can help with choice. Uh, it strengthens your willpower and it helps to clear your central channel. It will help your body feel light and rooted at the same time, and it will help you attract inspiration and insight. So this was a, this was a girlfriend I had when, when I was younger, so those were the kind of decisions we made then <laughs> about chocolate bars. Now the decisions are harder. <laughs> but yeah, what kind of tea to choose? Tim made the choice for me today. This is a very lovely choice, darling. What kind did you choose for me today? I think this is maybe vanilla. Oh, African rooibos. This is the almond one. 
Lovely choice. Okay, so you're going to rest this on your sternum and you're going to reach out through the crown of your head and root down through your tailbone, close your eyes. Take a deep breath, breath in, exhale. And allow yourself to be clear, to clear that central channel, to re have that mental clarity, to receive the teachings, to receive the inspiration and insight that will come through for you now. So as I said, today our class is about changing radio station K-R-A-Z-Y. Um, it's a class about choice. Over the last few weeks, we have become aware that our inner critic is broadcasting 24-7 on radio station K-R-A-Z-Y and announcing all the things that are wrong with us. We even have DJs, as you already know, like the inner pleaser. You've been getting to know these. These are like the celebrity DJs on radio station K-R-A-Z-Y. They're the inner pleaser, the pusher, the perfectionist, and the rule maker. And their job is to criticize us on radio station K-R-A-Z-Y. So with awareness, befriending and accepting our inner critic, realizing that it only wants to keep us safe, we come to a place that finally, I thought, I thought the, that the frustration was reaching a feverish pitch, especially on the membership site this week. So finally we come to the week where we can make a choice. Phew. <laughs> we can choose to see that the inner critic is not us. We can choose to see that the inner critic played a role to keep us safe, but that it doesn't have to keep running our life. Now that we have awareness and an attitude of friendliness and acceptance, we can bring some choice to our inner critic. So we have several choices. This is gonna be like a blog post. I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four choices. <laughs> we can, number one, we can turn down the volume on our inner critic. Number two, we can turn off the radio. We don't have to listen to the radio at all. Number three, we can turn the radio station to a different channel. So we don't have to listen to radio uh, station KRAZY. We could listen to radio station LOVE or a radio station PEACE. -E. You could choose a different radio station. Which one? Oh, two. <laughs> we can even learn to change the nature of the programming on this station. So first we had to bring awareness to the fact that radio station K-R-A-Z-Y was even playing. The first choice is to accept that your inner critic, what the inner critic is saying, rather than fighting it. When you bring this level of acceptance to what is going on, you have a choice to detach from it. The detachment is a choice to turn down the volume or turn off the radio. We have a choice not to listen to the criticism. When we bring the choice to hear the voice of criticism, which is awareness and acceptance, we can understand with an attitude of loving kindness that our inner critic only wants the best for us, and that's the befriending of our inner critic. And then with that awareness, we have the ability to make a choice either to turn down the music or to turn off the radio station or change the station. Once you have some awareness that you have an inner critic and you have an attitude of friendliness and acceptance, that it is part of you, uh, you no longer have to be intimidated by your inner critic. Remember when you start to hear a radio station K-R-A-Z-Y playing, it's a good sign that you're having some fear, anxiety, and vulnerability about living in the world. That is why befriending your critic and bringing loving kindness to it was so important. And with acceptance, there's some space to stop fighting your inner critic and realize that you have a choice. So start to form some intention around these teachings and the questions that you've received so far about how you would like to move forward with your inner critic now. With your intention, you can create sustain, let go of, or rebirth your intention in your life. So what is it that you would like to create, sustain, release, or rebirth in your life? 
And how can your yoga help you do that? How can these questions, how they, can these postures, how can this class today help you do that? Then once you've formed your intention, you can start to make your way up to standing. Okay, from standing, we're gonna release your shoulders and arms a little bit with eagle's arms. So I'm gonna give you lots of options with this. You can bring your arms together, hands together and elbows together. Or you can take your left elbow arm in front with your your left elbow will drop straight down so I have a shoulder injury that won't do that right now you can hook your right arm underneath and bring your backs of your palms together or you can probably I can show you on the other side the backs of your palms together or hook your hand and bring them together like that so do what works for you best in your body today and I'm going to do I'm going to do elbows and palms together on this side because that's what works for me and my body on this side. And on this side, ask yourself, what are you choosing to notice when radio station KRAZY starts playing? And then let that out of your body. And this time you'll bring your right arm up. And lots of options here again. You can bring your left hand together, your elbows together. Or you can bring your left arm underneath and bring the backs of your hands together. Or you can hook your arms here. And on this side, Ask yourself, what are you choosing to avoid when radio station K-R-A-Z-Y starts playing like the seagulls in the behind me? And then let that out of your body. And on this, we're going to do whole eagle's pose with your legs and everything now. So let me give you a few choices. One choice is to bring your feet together and your legs together and squat. So uh, you can do your arms like this or you can hook your arms. So um, let's choose what leg we're going to do first. So if your legs are together like this. Uh, we'll do left arm first. You can hook your right leg over, place your right foot on the floor, or you could hook your leg, bring your left arm up, palms together, or hook, backs of the legs together, backs of the palms together, or hook your arm. So choose which version you're going to do. And then release this from your body. And on the other side, because you get to choose how to be with your inner critic, you're going to choose to do 
ego pose a different way. So even if you can do the full expression of the pose, I want you to choose to do it a different way. So that might mean choosing to do a lesser expression, might mean choosing to do, just choose to do it a different way. So uh, this time, if you did it on the left leg, do it on the right leg, if you're gonna do one legged, but maybe you're gonna do two legs. And this time it would be the right arm the left arm might hook, you might do the left leg hooking or the left foot on the ground. So this time you're going to choose to do it somehow differently. And just notice how making a different choice feels for you. And then find a way to let that posture out of your body. And then we're going to come and lie down on your belly. And then from here, you're going to press the front of your pelvis into the ground and walk your elbows back underneath your shoulders. And in this pose, ask yourself, what am I choosing to listen to? And then you can take your hands back underneath your shoulders, push yourself up, draw your knees back underneath you, sit back into child's pose. You can always hug your knees into your chest on your back. And here, ask yourself, what am I choosing to turn the volume down on? And then roll up, sit with your legs straight in front of you. Slide your left leg in, cross your left leg over your right leg. You can leave your right leg straight long, or you may be able to bend your right leg as long as you can keep your left foot and your left hip on the ground. If not, straighten your, left, your right leg out again. Wrap your right arm around your left leg and turn towards your right leg and ask yourself, how am I choosing to be with my inner critic? And then come back to the center, take your legs straight out. Bend your right leg in, cross your right leg over your left leg. You can keep your left leg out or 
If you can keep your left foot and your right hip on the ground, then you can bend your right leg in. If not, keep your right leg straight. Turn towards your right leg. On this side, ask yourself, do you choose more of the same or something different? And then come back to the center and take your right leg and cross it all the way over your left leg. So you have cow's face legs here and you may need to take a block and fill the space underneath your hips if they're not sitting evenly on the ground or a folded blanket. And then here you're going to take your left arm up and hook your right arm underneath and hook your hands or backs of your hands or elbows together, whatever works in your body here. And I want you to reflect on, this is kind of a reflecting back question, on all the ways in the past that you have actually changed the radio station from radio station K-R-A-Z-Y. So how many times have you already changed radio station K-R-A-Z-Y? How many times have you changed the channel? Just notice the times that you've made that choice in your life. And then you're going to switch your legs. So your left leg is going to be on top of your right leg now. And bring your right arm on top and hook your arms for eagle's arms or backs of the palms or elbows and palms together, whatever works in your body. And then reflect on all the times in your life that you've changed the programming on radio station KRAZY. And then go ahead and release this posture from your body. And you can lie down for Shavasana. And then you can stay here, lying on your back. I'm going to sit up and share a reading with you to close out your Shavasana. So this is from Helen Cedra Stone's book. Embracing your inner critic, turning self-criticism into a creative asset. And I'll, I link to that in my show notes too. You can get a link to that in Amazon in my show notes. So they say, once you understand that this is the voice of your inner critic, that the radio station KRAZY is playing, 
then you have choices. And it is possible to begin to take greater control over this area of your life. You can learn to turn down the volume or turn off the radio. You can learn to change to another station. Eventually, you can even learn to change the nature of the programming of this station. You can learn to change the behavior and the attitude of this inner critic. First, however, you must listen, you must learn to hear the music. As you reflect back on the teachings today, just notice what stood out to you, what seems most important. What's one small thing that you're going to take away with you from your experience today? From your yoga practice? What are you going to take with you off your mat and into your life this week? And then gradually allow your breath to deepen. Begin to wiggle and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to stretch out. I'm very happy that squirrel has stayed on the periphery of our set. <laughs> A couple of them came close by. Bend your knees, roll to your side, and pause for a moment before you make your way up to seated. Thank you for joining us for episode 279 of Namaste Yoga. If you like today's show, give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you know somebody else who would benefit from this series or you think would uh, like this series then go ahead and send them the playlist because we have a playlist going and they'll need to start from the beginning and you can leave your comments below today's question to leave in the comments is What's the choice that you're going to make with your inner critic this week? Are you going to turn down the volume? Are you going to turn off the radio station? Are you going to change the station? Are you going to change the programming? Maybe you've got another choice. Let me know in the comments. Also, there's the donation link too. If you are receiving value from this series, then uh, feel free to leave a donation too. Um, and we really do appreciate you leaving your comments too. We all learn together when, we, when you leave your comments. If you'd like support in making choices with your inner critic, then we have classes that will support you in making choices on our membership site where we have value added content. So from our brand new Postures and Pranayam library in our membership site, I would recommend the Kapala Bhati or Skull Shining Breath. This class will connect you with your strength and your confidence. It's all about claiming your power, taking risks, and moving beyond your comfort zone into new territory. It'll connect you with your warrior archetype and your willingness to go to battle and to fight for what you believe in. And all of this, I think, will help you make choices. Also, we have a three-minute meditation for prosperity and self-esteem. This will help you to change the radio station and the programming, if that was your choice. And 
the other class that I want to recommend was a 15 minute class to strengthen your aura because if your aura is kind of weak then it's going to be hard for you to make choices um, it can be if your aura is weak it's going to be more easy for you to be swayed and feel overwhelmed by your inner critics so I think that one will be a great one too so our membership site gives you a huge return on your investment in our shop it costs $15 for a digital download of, of those value added videos and we actually stopped adding the new content that I produce for our membership site in November in 2013 so we haven't put any of the new content that we've been adding to our membership site since then. So new content's only added exclusively on our membership site now. So the past two years, you can't get the new content in our shop anymore. The last video we added that went in the membership site was yoga for cyclists. Those are the herons, if you can hear that. <laughs> so as of today, when you're receiving this video, Friday, May 15th, there are 225 of my yoga instructional videos on the membership site. There are others as well. Um, but just straight yoga videos, 225. So that is a $3,375 value. So that's 22 times the value of a yearly membership right now. So if you'd like to subscribe to that membership, it's a huge, huge value. You can subscribe below. I'm sending you much love from beautiful British Columbia. May you be as strong as our mountains. May you be as rooted as the trees in our forest. And may your joy be as deep as our ocean. Om Shanti Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com, and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.